Hi all. Welcome to EIESP Mule 4 4 minutes videos. In this series we will demonstrate how to use Design Center in building Mule application flows. Design Center is Mule latest addition to its portfolio. I am very much excited to show you the very first Hello World application in the Mule 4.0 Design Center. In this tutorial you will learn about how to register and get hands on to Design Center. Let's open your browser and open anypoint.mulesoft.com, click on sign up if you don't have account. I am signing up for a new account. Please provide your details. Log in with your credentials. After successful authentication you will be presented with the Anypoint homepage. This page contains links to Exchange, Design Center, Runtime Manager, API Manager and Partner Manager, Access Management, Data Gateway and MQ. Click on Access Management. Click on the Environments. You will be presented with list of environments in your organization account. Click on Add Environment if you want to add a new one. Let's start developing our first Hello World application using Design Center. On the top of leftmost page click on the button and click on Design Center. Which opens Projects page, observe no projects are present as we have just created the account. Click on Create button, you can create Mule application or API specification or API fragment. We will choose Mule application. Provide project name and choose target environment. By default design is selected. Observe in left, you will find flows, connectors and modules and data types. New flow is created and by default you will see trigger component. For the first time new law automatically displays few tips. In every Mule application, flow is initiated or triggered with trigger connector, component. Trigger can be HTTP, scheduler or Salesforce connector. Let us choose HTTP connector as trigger, in the Mule earlier versions HTTP have a single connector for your requirements based on the position it acts as the server and client. But in the design center it have a separate connectors for the listener, security filter and a load static resource, which displays the property page. Provide path and click on edit if you want to change HTTP configuration. Add logger to display message. This message will be displayed in logs. Add transform message component to set a payload. Set the data type to string and specify the payload message in script. If you want to change flow name, click on new flow and change the flow name. I am proceeding with default name, we are done with coding that's all. Let us deploy the application, flow by clicking deploy button. After successful deployment. You can see message last changes deployed. Wow, that's all. No need to download huge files, install and require huge memory, RAM requirement, everything on browser, design, build, deploy and monitor. In order to test the application, get a link for the application as shown by clicking copy link, open postman and invoke application as shown, see the response message. Now see the flow. Observe green line, as this flow has been invoked and executed successfully it has marked with green color, if any failure it will mark with red color. Let us verify logs, by clicking open logs, logs will be displayed and observe the log. Click on the top of leftmost page as shown, will take you to projects page. Observe hello world application. Now let's see runtime manager, click on top of leftmost page and choose runtime manager. List of environments will be displayed related to your account. Set your profile to default environment. We are setting design as default environment. Click on Runtime Manager. It displays Hello World application and its status is started. Click on the Hello World application. See CPU and memory utilization. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at Mule Design Center at TIESB.com.